What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading. Caps, caps through side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Um... This is Daily T. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hope everybody is doing well. I do. I do. Do. It is 12.07 p.m. Central Standard Time on 3-24-2022. Um, I am tired, but I'm going to do a reading. Uh, I feel guided to do so. I was sitting here eating and chillaxing and chilling, and I feel guided to do one. So I'm going to do it. Um, hope everybody is doing fantastical. Okay, so I received a channel message, so that was my confirmation to do it. Um, I'm only doing one, and hopefully it's not going to be long, just saying. Okay, it's a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're like five subscribers away from 11.8, so thanks for all the love and support. Love you guys. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> I shuffled off camera three times, uh, and all three times I got man holding a heart on the bottom of the deck. Let's see if we hear anything. A particular masculine energy is very, 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 very regretful of how he handled things in the past. Very. One may reach out and say so soon, possibly. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So a particular masculine energy is very, very, very regretful of the past. I mean, like, super freaking regretful. Like, there was many berries. Um, whoever this person is, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. I heard um, at least one of these masculine energies will probably, might, I heard might, reach out and say so soon. So... Uh, maybe he's regretful of how he treated you in the past or what he, he did to you or something of that nature. He's regretful of something um, if this message resonates for you. Number 45 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 45, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible jersey number. Uh, number 45. Spirit messages you have for the budget. Okay, so a particular feminine tarot card reader's channel is about to blow up positively in a huge way. Okay, I heard a particular tarot card reader's channel is about to blow up positively in the in a huge way, and we have cornucopia. A cornucopia. I can't even speak. Cornucopia on the bottom of the deck. I mean, I'm sorry. With the temple path. Cornucopia with temple path and carrying connections on the bottom of the deck. So, it either could be a masculine energy that's in his feels and regretful of how he treated you in the past or femme taking on heavy masculine. How that resonates. But, um, they care. I think they care about you. Or they think they care about you. Because, you know, with narcissists and sociopaths, it's, um, you know, uh, you, ha you have to be wary. You have to be wary. Um, they love to manipulate. So, but I did hear they were very, very regretful of the past. So, hopefully, they put some action behind it and actually show with action. And um, it's not narcissistic, sociopathic behavior. I mean, we have men holding a heart with caring connections and cornucopia. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. I think he's regretful because maybe he thought you were going to fail in some shape, form, or fashion, but you're not. You're not. I, I think you're blessed. You're, you're harvesting and manifesting something and you have an abundance of something. Now, cornucopia can be um, abundance of something. It can be abundance of money, physical money, abundance of love, abundance of, um, um, 
emotional outpouring of um, um, uh, abundance of um, anything, abundance of anything. It could be abundance of anything on the positive side. So you are abundant in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's the love you pour out positive connections in the universe or emotional connections or platonic connections or um, the light you show out in the universe or physical money or one or all those things. And Temple Path, I think you have chosen this path for yourself. And I think he thought, he or she thought you were going to fail. But you haven't. You most certainly have not. Keep going. Okay, I heard you most certainly have not. Keep going. Number 11, 12, or 14 can be very significant numbers in one's life. 11, 12, or 14. It can be possible ages of children. Um, your child or somebody you're connected to children. Possible um, lottery number, possible day birth number, possible green card number, possible um, social security card number, possible jersey number, 11, 12, 14. I heard keep going. So the path you've chosen for yourself is a very good one, apparently. And I heard keep going. And I think it's going to lead to a lot of abundance or a lot of positive connections or emotional connections or what have you. Um, but the message in this spiritual download was keep going. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay. <clears throat> there are secret snakes that want you to fail. But it's about to backfire. And one particular person is about to move out of your area soon, and that's going to help you in a huge way. A huge way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard there's secret snake energy that wants you to fail. So there's secret snake energy in your area, I mean, in your energy field, whoever you are. Whether it's your workplace, whether it's they're trying to sabotage your business, whether... They're in your neighborhood, whether they're in your family, uh, whoever, whoever they are, they're secret snake energy. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But some kind of secret snake energy, they have chosen this path to be your secret snake or secret snakes. But I heard basically it's about to fail on them. It's about to backfire. It's about to fail on them. And then for you to keep going so you can get your cornucopia. For some, you might have already started manifesting your cornucopia. Um... You plug it in, how it resonates. But I think they're trying to fight you because they don't want you to go. They're karmic energy to you. They don't want you to go on your own path. They don't want you to live free. They don't want you to be happy. But you got somebody out there that really does care about you. And I heard, um, or maybe several people for some, but I heard basically, um, one, keep going, and two, um, um, someone out of, that's someone significant that lives in your area. So lives in your physical vicinity in your area is about to move out of your area soon. And it's going to benefit you in a huge way. I think maybe it's going to manifest you in positive connections or manifest in the truth or manifest in something positive for you when they, <clears throat> they, they basically go on their own path. And it sounds like move physical locations far away. Far away. Okay, I heard far away. Okay, so they're about to move far away. Um, for some, it might be because of you um, or because of the way they know they treated you. However, that resonates. But it's going to benefit you, I'll tell you that. Let me see if I hear anything else. I'm going to pull a witch's wisdom and then I'm going to close it. Experiments that you have reflected. A very significant call to child protective services is about to become very significant. It's about to help you out in a huge way. Oh my lord, I heard a very significant call to child protective services is about to be made and it's about to help you out in a huge way. So I think whoever you are, um, Someone's about to help you out and call Child Protective Services. I think for some of you guys, you have children um, or you care about child or children. However, that resonates. Either you have children or you care about child or children that you know 
is being harmed in some shape, form, or fashion um, is what I'm feeling. I don't feel this is some kind of spiteful child protective service call. Um, people do that shit all the time. I don't think this is that. I think this is a, like somebody really knows some true information. And I feel for some, it's on your kids. And it's going to help you out in a huge way. Union. Someone truly sees a life with you, but they know they have to do it in the right way. And they're very right. They need to clean up this mess they made. Okay. So, ooh, Lord, that's strong. So you plug it in how it resonates. Heard someone truly does see a life with you, but they know they basically have to clean up the mess they made. Um, so it reminds me of like the clean it up card in that, um, I forget the name of the deck, but um, it reminds me of the clean it up card. Um, they made some kind of huge mess. For some, they could have got your children in d dangerous situations is what I'm feeling for some. Um, for some, they could have put you in dangerous situations. For some, they could just lied on you. For some, one or all of those things. But um, they might be the same ones they're about to call child protective services and try to make it right or make it right in some shape, form, or fashion. How that resonates. Um, but I heard they really see a life with you, but they know they basically have to clean up the, the mess they made. So in this, this aspect, union is basically this person, I feel it's a masculine energy for a lot of you guys. For some, it could be a femme and they're masculine, picturing a life with you, but they know they have to take the proper steps and do it the right way this time. And for some of you guys, it's a very significant call to child protective services. I'll tell you that. For some, it could be some other way, but they really, really care about the situation. So, and we have appreciation on the bottom of the deck, man. And the sun reverse. They know you haven't been happy. Man holding a heart upright. Holy crap. They know you haven't been happy. They care. And for some, I feel it's because of your, your kids. Your kids have been put in dangerous situations. Or you've been taken away from your kids. Or you can't see your kids. Or something like that. And it's made you very, very unhappy. How that resonates. Wow. But that, I think they appreciate you. Maybe they're going to show you they appreciate you by helping fix this crazy-ass situation they made in some shape, form, or fashion. I mean, we have appreciation, man holding a heart, and caring connections, for goodness sake. That's a strong combo. And they picture a life with you. Union upright. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Several shocking series of chain of events are going to happen soon and quickly. Positively for you. Okay, I heard several shocking series of chain of events are going to happen uh, soon and quickly and positively for you. So I think this masculine energy or feminine or masculine energy is about to do something to show you they appreciate you in some shape, form, or fashion. I mean, we've got caring in here, union in here, man holding a heart. They're about to make some big power play moves. I'm, I, I'm just being pro. All right, we're done. I love you guys. I've got to get some sleep. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.